Hi friends. Okay, so I just put on this uh, face mask stick. So that's why I look like this, but I have like 10, 15 minutes before I need to take a shower and rinse it off. Uh, so you know how I don't shower every day and I don't actually like showering. I think that sometimes it can be refreshing, but it's kind of like when people don't like going to the gym, the hardest thing for them to do is actually get in the car to go to the gym. But once they're there, they really enjoy it. That's how I am with showering. For me, when it's taking a shower, I it takes me a while to feel comfortable convincing myself that I'm going to go take a shower. Until then, I'm just kind of dreading it, procrastinating it, and yeah. And a lot of that, as we've talked about, is for a few reasons. One, I think showering is a fucking chore. Uh, it's just a lot of prep involved uh, in terms of taking my clothes off and getting ready. It sounds dumb when I say it. And, you know, I'm really into like my after shower care routine, meaning like I put on my lotion or whatever I need. So then I feel like that's a whole thing too. Uh, but I mean, furthermore, I think showers for me just aren't a happy place. It's like where I used to do some uh, unfortunate cutting um, habits when I was in middle and high school and like a little bit after, but I'm, you know, I've been in a really good spot when it comes to that. But I think, you know, when I was at the darkest of my depression, I had to be supervised, whether by family members or, you know, when I was in rehab in showers to make sure that I didn't do anything to hurt myself when I was in the shower, right? So for me, it's just not the happiest of places. I also think that I'm like a sad shower person. You know, some people are like happy they're in the shower. I'm more like shower, melancholy, crying, you know? So it's just not the happiest of places. Anyways. Bringing me to why I have this face mask, I have been trying to figure out ways where when it comes down to the day where I'm like, okay, I'm going to shower and I shower because I feel like it or like I'm I'm like, okay, I need to shower. Like my head gets itchy because um, of dandruff. I'm lucky that I don't have like super oily hair, but it does feel like I have dandruff, right? Like I kind of start just itching and it like feels really good to itch. Um, and also when I take my hair out, it just kind of is like molded because of the sweat and me working out and stuff. So I've been trying this new thing where I put something on my body that's like self-care related before I get in the shower because then I have to take a shower, right? So for example, this um, clay face mask stick that I'm trying out, uh, I used this and I know that I have to rinse it. So what a perfect opportunity to take a shower, right? So that's kind of how I've been thinking about it. Um, I've also, you know, I like waxed my armpits. That was the last time I took a shower. Um, and because then I wanted to like shower off the stickiness. Um, and so far it's working. It's been like, it's just made showering, I think a little bit more fun, if that makes sense. And it's not that I feel like showering needs to be fun. It's just like, I don't know, maybe in my life, I'm just like trying to have fun with everything, right? Like I love what I do. I love my job and yeah, I just want to have fun with it. Um, but because I can't sit still, I also wanted to talk to all of y'all and, um, I need to take these off. People keep saying that my nails are crusty, but I kind of like them. I feel like they're part of my, you know, who I am now. And my sister made me a starter pack for Christmas, like on a word document. And she included, uh, needing having crusty nails. This is where I keep my nail polish. It's from Besties at Olive in June. Um, which is just a company that I really admire from like as a CEO, I think that they do an incredible job. Um, but they have, uh, some nail polish remover that I really like that I forgot in the other room. One sec. Okay. I got it. Oh, speaking of my British accent, by the way, um, for those of you who follow me on TikTok, I've been doing that quite a bit and I keep getting questions like, ew, why do you do that? And my honest answer is that. I feel like I always do weird voices and I've done this like since I was younger um, when I'm like uncomfortable or nervous and um, sometimes a lot of that is like kind of talking in like a bit more I don't even say baby it's not baby it's like I get really nervous and then I just kind of like hello I just don't really like shrinking like I'm not it's just like when I'm nervous it's just something I've always done and then uh the English accent, I think this when I started watching like Ted Lasso and those became my favorite shows and like I love Keely and Ted Lasso, I feel like I started doing that more. Um, also, Henry is, uh, you know, is great at accents because he grew up around them. 
and so I feel like he's great at them and hearing him do them. Uh, and so sometimes when I'm nervous or I'm just feeling uncomfortable, I'll do an act and I'm just like, oh, okay, like, you're a hater and we're going to, we need to really unpack why you're hating on all my videos. And it just makes it a little bit more funny and, uh, but it's not intentional. I'm not doing it like, oh, if I talk this way, it's going to be really funny. It's more like... Of I'm really uncomfortable and I feel like if I talk how I normally talk, I'm gonna get freaked out. That's more of what it's like. I never know how to use this. Dip finger into the center uh, for feet tilt to saturate cap sponge. Okay. And twist until polish is completely removed. Oh, it kind of worked. Look at that. Um, I don't know if I'm going to repaint them because I repaint them and then they look good for like a week or not even like a week, maybe if three days. And then I feel like it's just back to, back to being crusty again. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to take a shower today. My mask is pretty much drying. I honestly don't do a lot of face masks. I want to do more of them. But for me, it's really hard to find ones that I think actually work. I think sometimes uh, I just feel like they clog my pores more. Like I need to find really good ones. Um, but I really like this one because it's in like a little deodorant stick almost. So it's not, um, it's not like really hard to apply. I think anything that's hard to apply, I don't like using it. For example, I recently got rid of all my shirts that have buttons. Not recently, last year. I got rid of all my shirts that have buttons and it's honestly made my life so much better because when I'm getting ready, I'm not thinking about like needing to steam. I'm not thinking about what I need to uh, like button up, what's gonna be hard. My biggest pet peeve, wearing things that, uh, that are hard to take off if I need to go to the bathroom, like rompers, got rid of my rompers. Like, I don't really want to use anything that is going to be really hard for me to, like, go to the bathroom because that shouldn't be a hard thing. Um, but yeah, so I've been, I've been um, really enjoying having just, like, stretchy clothes. I'm going to do my, my toes now. This toenail polish has been on since the summer um, of last year. Isn't that crazy? Like, I will keep it on. I put my nail polish on and then I keep it on until uh, it falls off by itself completely on every single toe, which means that I have it on for a long time, which is kind of crazy. Okay, hopefully this works. Ooh, yay. Um, my sisters and I are working on planning a trip soon, which is really exciting. I miss them a lot. I'm like going through withdrawal. I don't have a lot of like girlfriends. I don't, I'm so much more introverted than people think I am, but I'm really attached to my sisters and I miss them a lot. And it's only been like fucking five days since I saw Isa. Um, but Amaya is gonna come stay with me for a few days, which will be really fun. Uh, Isa is the best one of us about showering. Like she actually loves showering, but I'm really excited to see them anyways. I'm gonna go shower. Ready for it. <laughs>